What's up to my friends on YouTube and welcome back to another tutorial style video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Google Docs on your iPhone or any mobile device. Now if you aren't aware or you've tried to use Google Docs on your device before, you may have downloaded the Google Drive app or directly searched it through Safari and found that it really isn't working or functioning properly and it's kind of laggy and glitchy and all the features aren't really there. However, Google has made a separate application for each and every one of their services, such as Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Forms, et cetera, et cetera, all those different services you can find a separate app for. And I'm gonna be showing you how to get to that app and exactly what you need to know in order to download it and function and use it correctly. So I just launched the App Store here. However, if you're on a different device, it might be the Google Play Store. And you're just going to go ahead and search for Google Docs. And it should be the first one towards the top there. I mean, it might be the second one. I'm getting some ads on my App Store here. But the first actual search there, it just has that little logo there at the top. Shouldn't really be mistaken for anything else. And you can see that it's made by Google itself. Just go ahead and download it. I have downloaded it in the past but deleted it. So I'm just going to re-download it for this video here. Shouldn't take more than a minute or two to download here. And you can see that it is now downloaded and you can just hit that open button. It's going to be on your home screen as well with all your other apps. And you can see that you have a fully functioning Google Docs menu here. I am already signed in on my account as you can see, but it may make you sign in again to a different account. And I just created a new document for the purpose of this video. And the layouts are going to be a little bit different from what you would have on the desktop, but obviously they do need to switch it around as it's on a mobile device and it is going to be a little bit different. So that is understandable, but you should have most of the same functions that you need here to edit on your Google Docs. And I think I might even make a separate video breaking down all the different features here and where you could see them. Unfortunately, that's not in today's video. I just wanted to give a simple outlook on Google Docs. However, show some support by commenting down below and let me know what you want to see on Google Docs. Furthering that, if you did have any questions or were confused at all on what I covered on this video, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, if you did find this tutorial helpful today, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.